Hi, I'm Lori Holt from Be In My Bonnet. And in my new book, Quilty Fun, one of the projects is this sewing machine mat and cover. And on the side I have ties here, so you can sew it on, tie it onto the side of your sewing machine. And I'm going to show you how I make the ties. And I use this product, the Turn It All. First you need a two and a half by 20 and a half inch strip for one tie. And then we'll just fold it in half right sides together. I don't press it at this point. And then we just go over to the machine and stitch it. Okay, so here we are at the machine. And I just start at one end here and I have right sides together, folded in half. And I start on the folded edge in about a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna sew on an angle so that there's a point in the tie. So I just stitch a few stitches. Make sure you back stitch at this point so that it doesn't come unraveled. I just stitch on an angle until I get about a quarter of an inch to the edge and then turn it. Make a quarter of an inch seam down the side. I usually use white thread when I'm stitching, but I'm using this gray so today so that you can see my stitching lines to make it easier. Back stitch at the end. Just go ahead and trim it off. And then on this corner right here, you can see where I've stitched on an angle. I just go ahead and clip it off at this point along with my threads. So there you have your tie and now we need to go turn it right side out. On this turn it all we have three sizes the small, medium, and large and there's directions on the back on how you use each size and so I use the, the medium will work fine for this. So you have a dowel and a tube that fits inside for each size. And what you do is in the opening, you place your tube all the way to the end, to the closed point. Then you take your dowel and you push that in the tube. And you kind of pull down on the tube as you're pushing up. And see, so you've got the other end that comes out. So then you just pull the tube off, and your dowel's still inside, so you can go ahead and push that up to kind of get the point that you want. If you need something a little bit pointier to get a nice point, a lot of times I'll use just this little white crochet hook that has a little, little bit more of a rounded edge. thread it up in there and push that out. That's why you have to make sure you back stitch on this so that you don't. And then it's turned inside out or right side out. And then you can just go ahead and press it flat, lining up the seam edges, kind of rolling out so that you don't have a fold in your ties. So now you have your tie and you can sew it into your sewing mat. Have a quilty kind of day. Mm -hmm.